All right, let's make it real simple. Let's take one agent in your, in your pool that you've introduced to the company and they go out and they sell a $500,000 home. At a 2.5% commission, that's $12,500 in gross commission. Now you get 3.5% of that by introducing them. It's a real referral fee to you for introducing them to the company. Right, that's $437. That's one transaction, one deal, one example, real simple. Now, let's jump in and multiply that. And we're only gonna go three levels deep. There are seven levels in this kind of passive income flow, but let's make it real simple today and just make it three. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so now jumping into the revenue sharing, and I'm just gonna use three levels here, as I'd mentioned, to keep it real simple. There are seven levels in this, but for simplicity today, let's just look at three, keep it real, very realistic, right? Very realistic, okay? So, in order to cap, an agent has to do about $3.2 million in sales, and I'm basing this on a 2.5% average commission per side, giving you a $16,000 cap. That is the max that any agent's gonna pay EXP based on a deal, a transaction, okay? $16,000 cap and then you go 100%. 100%. So based on that, at 3.2 million in sales, using San Diego for an example, that's about five sales. If you use a $630,000 average sales price in San Diego County, that's about five deals for us in San Diego to hit that cap. But regardless, you are making money as a passive income on any agent in your downline regardless of whether they cap or not, but you only earn up until the point they cap, okay? So let's look at level one. Let's presume you introduce 10 people to the company. And let's presume 30% of those cap, three of the 10 cap, which is 9.6 million in gross sales volume. And let's obviously then presume 70% do not. So they only do maybe a million dollars each. That's seven million. So you combine that together, your total commissions, presuming 2.5%, is $415,000. You get 3.5% of that. That's $14,525, okay? Now let's take it the next level down. Let's presume the 10 people you introduced to the company go out and over time introduce a five each. Very simple, not difficult. And let's now assume that 30% of those cap. So 30% of the 50. Now that produces 48 million in gross sales volume. Let's now take it that 70% do not. They only do a million dollars each. So that's 35 agents, that's $35 million in gross sales volume. You combine the 48 million with the 35, multiply that times two and a half percent as an average side commission fee, and you're getting a little over $2 million in gross commissions. Now at level two, you're earning 3.8% on that. So that's nearly $80,000. Now let's go to level three, the last level in this simple illustration here. And now let's go out and let's say that those 50 agents introduced three more, right? You didn't do any of it. You didn't recruit, you didn't do anything. They just, it happened over time. So now there's another 150 agents in your downline. You don't know, you may not even know who they are, <laughs> okay? So 30% of those cap. That produces $144 million in gross sales volume. And let's now assume that 70% do not. So that's 105 agents of those 150 don't cap. They just do maybe a million bucks in sales on average, on average. So now you combine that, the 144 million with 105 million. Now you multiply that times 2.5% average commission on a side, and that's $6.2 million in gross commissions. Now you're earning 2% at this level on that. So that's $124,000. This is just three levels. And this is very realistic, very realistic numbers. I've already seen this, the agent that's in my, that sponsored me, that introduced me to the company, currently, to date, is earning well over $20,000 a month. And I've seen it less than six months into it. Obviously he's been on, a tear to introduce people and you know he's selling houses just like any agent doesn't change anything he's doing but then he's taking it and saying look you see what i'm doing he introduced me i saw it i got it in a second right i got it in a second and the minute you do you're like well okay so i'm not going to change anything i'm doing 
All I'm gonna be doing is introducing people that I see in transactions and I'm out there and if they're frustrated with where they're at, they're gonna make a change anyways. Hey, why don't you look at this? Let me help you. We all help each other, we grow together, boom, everybody makes money and we live happily ever after. <laughs> right? Happily ever after. So I hope that makes some sense. At the end of the day, you can look at this, the total annual is about $217,000 in additional passive income. Now you would never see this anywhere else, ever. This is on top of what you're making as a realtor, just selling houses and helping people buy and sell and invest. On a monthly basis, that's almost $18,000. Now I don't know what else you may be doing or not doing, but if you take whatever you're making as an agent and you add in a passive stream that you are there but not there, but are managing but not managing, not really, and it's just happening behind the scenes, and then you have the stock options on top of that as a you know, part of the revenue model as well, you have three streams of revenue, right? Some active, right? You as an agent, you're in the hamster wheel, doing the transaction-based stuff, and then you're adding these two other passive streams through stocks and through the passive income revenue sharing model. There you go, real simple. And then now at the end of the day, you know, you've seen Robert Kiyosaki's four quadrants of cash flow, right? You're in the E, or you're in the yes. You're an employee or you're a self-employed person. Realtor, you're self-employed. You either have a job or you own a job. Either way, if you leave it for a minute, for a second, for a week, and you're not prospecting doing things, you're not showing up to work, you don't get paid. You don't earn an income, you're in a hamster wheel. You either have a job or you own a job if you're in the E or the S quadrant. The goal, all the money, all the passive money, all the retirement, everything you can imagine, all the wealth, right, is in the B or the I quadrants. Own a business, passive income business that generates income for you whether you're doing it or not, i.e. this passive revenue model, or you're investing. You're taking your money, you're putting it into investment, investments and it's generating money for you, i.e. stocks, or other real estate, or income properties, or part, whatever it is, right? But you have to get the money working for you or you have to put it into a business that is working for you no matter what. Because if you sit in the E and the S quadrant as an employee or self-employed person, you're gonna do that till you're dead you probably will never have a chance to truly retire. You'll probably never have a chance to true financial freedom. When I say retire, I don't mean like retire, retire, like don't do nothing during the day. I mean, you can wake up in the morning, sit in your pajamas, drinking coffee, or go on the beach, go surfing, spend time with your kids and your family, take trips, but you, and you still maybe be working on the side, have a business, have other things you're doing, but you're not forced to go to a job. Make sense? So that is why this is important to me. That's the exit strategy side of it. The exit strategy side. So when I talked about the things that are most important to me and why I made the move, as I said, it's control, it's technology, okay? It's the exit strategy, it's the money. The money, the exit strategy, the technology, and the control. That is why I did it and I see the paradigm shift and I know how important it is and I know why me as an agent, me as an agent, not the brokerage, not the brand, not the Sotheby's, not the Compass, not the Coal Banker, not the Brookshire Hathaway, not all these names that we all know. I get it, good companies. Trust me when I tell you, they're not gonna sell the homes for you, they're not gonna get the clients for you, it's just not. It's a facade. It's a great facade, but it's a facade. It's you, your clients choose you. They trust you, they like you to do business with you, and you know it. So. Get ready for the paradigm shift. It's coming whether you like it or not. You can get on board. It's going to happen. This next shift is happening over the next cycle in real estate. So hope to see you there. Click below, get our information. Love to set up a meeting with you. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'm not going to be recruiting you. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to introduce you. You like it, whether you like it, so be it. I just want to be a resource, be helpful. So until next time, talk to you soon. Take care.